Today, nearly 2 billion Muslims all around the world are starting a month of fasting for Ramadan. And in Gaza, it's without a ceasefire deal in the Israel-Hamas war. There's also the question of whether Israel will invade the Gazan city of Rafah, which President Biden has said is a red line that Israel's prime minister should not cross. Talks between Israel and Hamas are stalling at a time where the U.S. says Gazans are facing a hunger crisis. Over half a million are at risk now of starving. A million and a half Palestinians are currently in Rafah, including those who fled the fighting in other parts of Gaza. A U.S. military ship bringing parts to set up a massive floating temporary aid port is heading to Gaza this morning after setting sail from Virginia over the weekend. But it could take weeks, even months, before the pier is up and running. Robert Sherman has more live from Tel Aviv. He has more on this aid now much needed in Gaza. Gaza. Robert, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Kelly. We saw more aid drops falling into the Gaza Strip over the weekend here. You see some of these scenes of these goods being parachuted in and Gazans rushing to grab on, onto them any way that they can as the famineous situation in Gaza has become a center stage issue that world leaders across the globe are talking about. The president's comments about building a pier off of Gaza's coast, that's certainly making waves, as most believe that it is the best strategy in order to get aid in directly to the enclave. U.S. troops have been deployed and are en route to the Gaza Strip area, the coastline off of Gaza, to begin the process of setting up a pier, a move the Israelis have said that they do support. Meanwhile, a Spanish NGO ship is set to leave Cyprus and bring aid to the enclave. As the president of Cyprus contends, this is all about maximizing any route of aid in. The Cyprus Maritime Corridor aims at scaling up aid by complementing other routes that include the all-important Rafa crossing point from Egypt and their drops from Jordan. It is also clear that we are at a point where we simply have to unlock all possible routes. Meanwhile, here in Israel, we've seen demonstrations taking place throughout the weekend demanding the release of hostages. As those talks stand, still no deal to report, but the U.S. affirms that conversations are still taking place behind the scenes and holding on to hope that a hostage release and ceasefire deal can still come together. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.